fab. This is going to be part 39 on the mongrel build. Alright, so I had a little break from the old mongrel for a bit. And now we're going to get straight back into it, get this boot floor tackled and done. I have actually done a bit of work to it off camera. Only the work that you saw me do on the other side, I've just replicated that exactly the same on the passenger side. So I didn't really want to film all exactly the same stuff again. <clears throat> Much quicker to get done without filming it and wouldn't have been very interesting anyway. But now we can um, get cracking with the back. So I did the stitch welding all in the tower. Did the same job with the sill. This time I had to drill and plug weld it on and I still haven't trimmed this off yet. I've got to mark it across and trim it all off. Got the tub in here, got a little piece to put in there and um, the bottom corner underneath down here to finish off and I did the same here with the uh, drilling holes and plug welding because didn't have the spot welder so what's going to happen is this this panel is just going to extend all the way over and meet that outer skin so i'm going to make like a little like a little 90 degree folded edge and run it across the uh, panel there just kind of spot weld it onto the panel and then that will be like a little shelf for this panel to extend over to uh, this will be spot welded onto here and then we can just run a few stitch welds up that bit and um, we'll do some bead rolling in there and should look pretty sweet. Right, so this, this slopes down here and then goes to flat here. And this is obviously curving in and around. So we need to have a little shelf that kind of matches this slope and then flattens off. So it'll come down a little bit and then go flat. The trickiest bit is gonna be in here because this panel is gonna cross right across where the um, the bulb section for the rear light comes through. Okay, so now I just need to um, shrink and stretch this piece to match this and also match that. So I'll stretch that bottom bit there and that'll give me that kink. And then we'll have to shrink along this edge a little bit. Amen. Alright, so I just got my little uh, shelf spotted in. We've got it tacked on the bottom. I don't want to put too much weld or anything on that because I'm going to risk uh, warping this. So um, that's going to be enough to hold that fine. So now I'll just do the same on the other side. And then we can cut out some templates and get this piece cut. Alright, so I've got, got a rough. Uh, panel laid out there. I'm just going to grab the light and see what we're going to have to do with this bit in the corner here. What I'm going to have to do is I'll just get this fitting as close to that as possible and then we'll probably take quite a big notch out of that and then slope it down to meet the light at the bottom.
Alright, so after a ridiculous amount of uh, cutting and trimming, this is what we got. So it fits in there nice. So um, now I need to mark underneath to where the edge of the leg is on this side and drill a runner hole so we can spot weld this down to the leg. Um, and then we'll roll a little bead pattern in it. And this, this is the problem I was talking about with the, uh, where the light comes through. All right, <clears throat> that's all welded in. Seal that nice and flat. That's the little, uh, you can't really see, but this, this little, um, slot in the bottom corner. Um, but that worked perfectly. So you can see that little bit just butts underneath that. We can seal it from underneath. It's the underside. All right, that's one side down. Obviously need to replicate the exact same thing again on this side. 
I'm getting to a stage where I am needing to buy parts for this and um, I don't have the budget to do it. I, I need seats before I can mount the column and the harness bar, panels before I can finish doing the front end. So I've set up a PayPal fund, it's called Feed the Mongrel, so you can help feed this poor mongrel. And yeah, it's just kind of like a crowdfunding type thing where you can contribute any amount, a pound, if you want, and everything from that is going to go into <coughs> buying the parts for the car. And uh, anyone that contributes over 50 quid is going to get their name on the car. So whether that's like on the back window or on the boot lid or something, you know, but once it's actually finished, I will get everyone's name that's put over 50 quid in, printed into like a, some kind of wrap thing, like a load of stickers, and you'll all be printed on the car when it's finished. So there's a link to that in the description. It's called Feed the Mongrel. Go check it out. Where I'm at at the minute with like YouTube and trying to make it pay, um, it's in a really awkward position where um, I can't make enough from the ads even if I do five videos a week. And any less than five videos a week, what I am making on the ads just drop, starts dropping. So the only way to maintain a level is to do like five videos a week, but that level's still not enough to live off. So um, I'm just working out ways that, that I can do it and make it pay. So people have said that they would like to contribute, but they don't want to do it through patrons. Uh, some people don't like patrons, so you can help out this way if you want to. No worries if you don't. But yeah, the videos aren't going anywhere. Um, like any business that you start, it's just a learning process from the start of working out, you know, how you're actually gonna make a living out of it. So I'll work it out. Videos ain't going nowhere. This thing's getting finished. And that is that. So that's gonna be it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.